Hi and welcome to Applos Systems tutorial on how to mail merge using Microsoft Excel and Word. The first thing we need to do is to create an Excel spreadsheet. I've created one here with the headings name, address, phone and email. You can create your own headings but just make sure that they're in the first row and then fill in your data below. An important thing to note is that we've filled in the data here on sheet 1 of this workbook. The next thing I'll do is to save this Excel spreadsheet and to close Excel. In Word, I already have some default text created. I'm just going to select mailings from the menu, select recipients and then use existing list. I'll then navigate through my file system to find the Excel spreadsheet that I just saved. Remember that before, our information was on sheet 1, so I select sheet 1 from the list. And then now I'm going to place my cursor where I want the placeholder to go and select insert merge field. You can see my four headings here. I'm going to put name here. I'm going to put address here. And then I'm going to put the phone in as well. Once all the placeholders are in place, you can actually preview the results by clicking the preview result buttons and then cycling through the recipients. And then to finish, you can either generate your documents print the documents or because we have an email field we can email them. The email field is already selected as it's called email but you can select other fields. As well as mail merging for letters you can do it for envelopes and labels as well. And that's it, that's how to mail merge. If you've enjoyed this video then click the like button so other people can find it.